Hey everybody, Cardboard Jesus with you. Welcome. It's time to do uh, archives number two, full case, eBay style. It was it good? I I have yet to see any of it, so I'm gonna take a take a look see right now and see see what uh, see what this uh, what the whole hubbub is with this. Oh, I guess I could turn this light on. Think it moves? Mm, whatever. You still see most of what's going on. Well, maybe this maybe this one's where it's where it's at. Um, I I'll have to look. I think there's I think there's one more case that's that's just for whatever. I ha I gear I know for a fact that I have this card. Uh, not autographed or marked as archives, but just as a old school Blue Jays Cecil Fielder ninety one out of ninety nine. A Chipper Jones 101? D damn! Chris Fitz on a hot streak. Uh, Cincinnati Reds, Jose Rio, 14 out of 60. Still, one on one. Frank Viola, Minnesota Twins. There you go. There's a cap and crunch. One on one. I've not. I have not. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the cap with the cap and crunch. Tops variation. What's up, Ra Ra? How you do? No, one, one of my one of my more favorite old school players. Ten out of fifteen, Eric Davis. I don't think they do. They should have it, but I don't think they do. Eric Davis, ten out of fifteen for the Reds. Reds early winners in this. Interesting, Ryan. Forty-one or forty-seven out of fifty-one. Ray Knight for the Mets and Opeachy. This is break number two, George. Yes. Edgar Renteria, 30 out of 31 for the Cardinals. Uh, yeah, I remember. I was. I, I wasn't here for that. I don't remember what what it was, but he he worked during the day and. Eight out of thirty-one. Ron C for the Cubs. Say, uh, I'm not familiar. I, I know the card, but not uh, not the dude. 
How do they even track these people down? Louis Tiant for the Twins, 12 out of 18. Mm. I don't know. I think I I think I'd rather have the chipper. Okay. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Chicago White Sox, Sandy Alomar Jr., 3 out of 14. And this is a Topps 50-year Archive 2017 card. Okay, well, then that, I mean, it's obviously that's one that you would want. I can appreciate that. Sixteen out of forty-three. Juan Gonzalez for the Rangers. Okay, let's. Come on, that, that Frank Viola can't be the only one. One. Nine out of eighteen. Kent Herbeck. Another one for the Twins. Twins and Reds so far. Doing doing some business. Tops has struggled a little bit with collation. Here this uh, this season. Lynn Dykstra, Philadelphia Phillies, forty three out of fifty eight. The Lynn Dykstra, Kate AC. How much do you like Lynn Dykstra? He, he is next level creepy. Next level creepy. Oh yeah, he is definitely entertaining. I I should get I well I probably have a Lenny Dykstra card somewhere. I should I should give her. Fifteen out of forty-seven. Pat Borders, Blue Jays. Two Blue Jays, two Reds, at least two Twins so far. Sports card, Freak Three Hundred Five. How you doing? Lenny, <laughs> Lenny, it's crazy. Pat Borders. I remember the name from my. Maybe it was like from when I collected, but. The name is familiar to me, but I don't know. Until you got to Raleigh Fingers 101 for the Padres. Oddball for the Padres. Raleigh Fingers Uno E Uno. Unexpected and uh, weird. He signs too much stuff to be like, you know. For it to be like crazy interesting, but still. Five out of 83, Tony Pena for the Pirates. Ryan, that's a good card. I mean, listen, 99% of Raleigh Fingers stuff you see is A's. So to, have, to actually have like a Padres version, that's probably uh, fairly collectible. If and I had to guess. Yeah, 
19 out of 70. Steve Avery for the Braves. That's a Bowman. 94. Yeah, why not, man? I mean, you know, be greedy. Be greedy. Four more. Let's let's see. Let's see some monster name. Why not a Henderson? Why not? Or for the Reds, thirty-one out of ninety-nine. Chris Sabo. How about that. Yeah. There you go. Rah rah, that's hard, man. That I, I hate Miami and I hate Notre Dame. I don't. I am not even one hundred percent sure who to root for here. But I think, I think it's Miami, just because they're a lower seed. Uh, surprising, but a nice one. I'm sure the only, well, I'm not going to say the only people. 17 out of 39, Jeff Conine, Miami Marlins. That is a pretty nice card. I'm a Conine fan. If she's passed out, no, sports card freak. I mean, if, if she was awake, then yes. But as long as she's asleep, you know, let let her sleep while we while we do this. Mets nine out of fifty-five. Jesse Orasco. No, I mean, she, listen, she need she needs her stripper sleep. All right, last one for the goodness. Come on, only two one on ones out of a case. It's un unacceptable. Interesting card. 26 out of 33. Cracker Jack. Kevin Euclid's Boston Red Sox. I like this stuff. But a Cracker Jack version. So two one ones, the uh, Raleigh Fingers Padres, the Frank uh, Viola Twins. Some interesting things: a Jeff Conine, a Euclid. You know, I am too a little bit, Ryan. I am too a little bit because I, I would not imagine that they would be able to muster up thirty three of these Cracker Jack cards, but they somehow did. Still, I mean, interesting Euclid. The Conine, I like. Uh, Tony Pena, not a terrible card. The Lynn Dykstra, I... Newfound hotness for Lynn. Juan Gonzalez, not terrible. Sandy Almar Jr., not a bad card. Edgar Renteria is okay. Eric Davis, one of my favorite uh, old school players, and uh, even I mean Cecil Fielder. So I mean, I have a half half of them cards that I, uh, I you know what I don't know, Chris Fitz. I honestly uh, don't know the answer to that. Thank you, everybody. Who gets right to you.